Hi everyone, my name is Isaac, and if you're buying a brand new pair of headphones on Amazon, you may come across a pair of very reasonably priced active noise cancelling headphones, especially compared to competitors Bose, Sony, and Sennheiser. So are these headphones actually worth it? Well, I got a whole bunch, and we're going to find the absolute best pair of budget active noise cancelling headphones today in this video brought to you by Unboxed TV. View and purchase the products from this video and every other video I've ever made all on Amazon, B&H, Best Buy and more, all in one convenient place. Plus read detailed reviews, watch videos, meet other awesome content creators, and discover the best tech products of the week. Hit my profile link in the description to learn more. So first up, the Cohen E7s, and these, they look okay. Now they have mostly a plastic kind of metallic chrome look, and that makes them look a bit cheap in general, and people have actually said these things do break, they do snap over time on Amazon, and I can definitely see that happening. They feel solid enough, but I can see over time these probably breaking if you're not too careful with them. In general though, they are very comfortable, uh, they're very plushy, they're squishy, they feel good, so they're comfortable at least. The controls though are just not very intuitive. Like the switch for on and off noise cancelling is very hard to reach when the headphones are on. And you accidentally mostly just turn off the entire pair of headphones if you are touching the switch when you're actually wearing them. And the rest of the controls as well are very weird. You have to press and hold for volume, while if you tap the up and down, it's skip track or previous track. There's also play and pause which is a bit clumsy, and the button mechanism does not feel great. Now most importantly is of course the audio quality, and here, it is pretty good. You're gonna get some rumbling bass that's almost a bit too much at times, a bit too overpowering, but when you turn noise cancelling on, it does get a whole lot better. It's kind of a trend with most of these headphones that it sounds okay without noise cancelling, but when it is on, the sound is much clearer, things are much more balanced, and it's just generally better. Besides the bass though, these do sound pretty good, it has clear, crisp audio quality, and there is minor video delay when actually watching videos. There's also pretty decent noise cancelling too, it's gonna block traffic, commuting sounds, machinery sounds, no problem. Not gonna be Bose, not gonna be Sony, not gonna be Sennheiser level, but these do do the job of noise cancelling, for sure. And Cohen says these headphones are going to give you a little under 30 hours of listening time, which in theory should give you a few days of on and off usage, no problem. So battery life is pretty solid here. Not really a big fan of the carrying case though, it's kind of this compact drawstring case which can easily fit in almost any bag, so it is compact, but I wish the headphones fit inside the case itself a bit better. It's very tight, they rarely ever fit, it's annoying. Up next, the Taotronics BH22 headphones, and these compared to the previous ones are much more subtle in terms of design, almost a bit too plain in terms of any form of design, they're just very generic looking. They do have the Taotronics logo up front and left and right in each of the ear cups, so you know exactly what ears these go on. And in terms of general comfort, these, they're alright. The headband could use a bit more padding for sure, it's very very sparse in terms of that, and long periods of time you're going to feel a bit of discomfort, but in general, they're pretty comfortable, the ear cups are nice and soft. And these out of the whole bunch are probably the most easy to bring around, the most portable, the most lightweight headphones, and the carrying case as well is durable and also very compact too. So you can throw these in a bag, completely forget about them, and they're going to fit perfectly. And in terms of sound quality, I gotta say these headphones are extremely well balanced. The bass is there, but it's not super thick or rumbling or just ridiculously heavy. It's there, but it's balanced. The mids and highs are also very well balanced too, nothing really stands out over the other in a negative way. And once again here with these headphones, they don't really sound as good with noise cancelling off, like they don't really sound very clear, it's a bit of a dull sound. When you switch noise cancelling on, the clarity is totally there, they sound very dynamic, and they sound much better. It blocks a lot of low frequencies, construction noise, noise on city streets, these do a really good job for noise cancelling. And also with these headphones and every other pair I'm showing you today, they all have a bit of a video audio kind of delay, because they're not Bluetooth 5.0, the audio is not perfectly synced, and it is kind of annoying, but it is livable. And these thankfully have 25 hours of listening time approximately on and off, so you should get another full week or so with these headphones, and it's pretty impressive. And also for any of these pairs of headphones, make sure you turn off the noise cancelling switch even if the headphones are completely powered off as the battery is still going to keep wasting on any of these pairs. Hit that switch. 
Up next, we got the Tautronics BH040s, and these compared to the BH22s, look much nicer for sure. They're much more well built as well. They got these aluminum pads in the side with the logo that's actually embossed. They feel much more quality. They look much better. And they're also a bit more comfortable too. Like they're very well padded. The headband is even pretty good. These are definitely more comfortable and better designed headphones compared to the BH22s. Now, why are these cheaper than the BH22s and have a better design and better comfort? Well, I think Tautronics kind of made a compromise here with the sound quality in comparison. These do not sound as good as the BH22s for sure. When you have noise cancelling on, the audio does not sound as crisp and clear. It kind of sounds like there's like a filter over top of everything. These don't sound bad or anything, they still sound pretty good, but they're not the best sound quality of the whole bunch here. And in terms of noise cancelling, these do a pretty good job. It's going to block out low frequencies, it's going to block out some background noise. But one of the negatives here is that it actually takes a few seconds sometimes to even actually switch noise cancelling mode. So if I hit the switch now, it's not on yet, now it's on. Sometimes it's even longer than a few seconds and it's just, it's not the best experience. The case though is fairly compact, solid, it's decently portable, and these are going to last you a little under 30 hours of listening and definitely a few days of on and off usage but I still much prefer the overall package you're getting with the BH22s. Up next, the Mixter E7s, and these I'm a bit mixed on. Now, the design looks nice in my opinion, very minimal, very modern and clean, very comparable in terms of looks to Sony's noise cancelling headphones, but the build quality leaves a bit to be desired. Hear that? These headphones, they creak, they feel cheap, I could probably snap them like right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. In terms of comfort though, they're all right. They're not really super plush or anything. The ear cups are just okay. The headband is just okay too. Bit of discomfort up there, but they are decent. Where these headphones really shine though is definitely the sound quality. It's kind of like Mixter put all the money into the sound and less into the build quality and the rest of these headphones because the sound is well balanced. They sound good. Bass isn't too overpowering or distorting or anything. Mids and highs are well balanced too. These just sound like a good, decent pair of headphones. Nothing really amazing, nothing really terrible either. Where these are kind of weak though, once again, is the noise cancelling. It doesn't really block out too much, like it's going to block out a lot of low frequencies and some background noise, but compared to the rest of these headphones, these don't really do too much in terms of noise cancelling. You're getting a little under 20 hours of listening on these headphones, and the case it comes with is alright, but it is a bit flimsy and a bit annoying. Up next, these are the Bohm B66 headphones, and to be completely honest with you, I'm not really a fan of on-ear headphones like these compared to over-ear headphones like the rest of the ones shown in this video. I just prefer an overall seal on my ear compared to just it resting on my ear, but these are surprisingly good for being a pair of on-ear headphones. Not without their flaws though. So the design here is definitely pretty alright. They're very minimal looking, they're made of aluminum feel quite solid in general, and they have kind of this plush faux leather all around the headphones as well. Putting them on in terms of comfort, they're okay. They don't really feel bad or anything. The plushiness of the ear cups and the headband is pretty good. Once again, they don't completely seal your ear like a pair of over-ear headphones, but not really complaining too much here. These are, these are kind of nice. But despite the comfort and despite the look of these headphones, for many people, a big issue is these things actually completely snapping at the headband portion. Whole bunch of reviews on Amazon, a lot of comments about it, and I don't know if that's a great thing for these headphones. I don't really feel like it's going to completely break, but I can see if I was really, really rough with it, these could potentially snap, which is unfortunate. In terms of sound quality, these are good, but I wouldn't say that they're that great. The low end is nice, it's balanced, not too overpowering or anything, it's solid. Now, the mids, they do lack clarity with noise cancelling on or off, and really any audio tracks I've tested, it doesn't really feel that pronounced, that dynamic. The highs at times can feel a bit distorted too, just a bit too pronounced, but that's just a personal nitpick. These are alright, but they're not the most clear or dynamic of the bunch here. And for noise isolation, these actually do a surprisingly good job for a pair of on-ear headphones. Like, the Mixter E7s were over-ear headphones, but the noise isolation was not too great. These being on-ear headphones, not really a perfect total seal, but they actually block out a lot of background noise. And because these headphones are pretty small in general, you're only getting 16 hours of playtime, which I guess is acceptable. But the case here, I'm not really too big of a fan of. It's this kind of flat disc looking thing. It's really big and arrived with the logo actually kind of peeling off on the case. So not really the best first impression and not really the best case either. 
And finally, the Bohm B76s, and these are definitely a beast and the winner for build quality and design by far. It's metal, this kind of fake leather as well. They feel solid, durable, quality, and they also just look awesome too. These are the best looking pair of all of these by far. Even though these headphones are big, they're made of metal, they're well built, they still have a really nice folding mechanism too, which folds them up almost completely for a very small carrying case, which is solid and well built as well. Now for comfort, the ear cups are nice and soft and plushy, and being mostly made of metal here, they're not very heavy either, which is kind of surprising. The headband though, could use a bit more plush, it does not feel great. These do stack up very well for sound quality as well with a generally very warm, very pleasant sound. I wish there was a bit more bass at times, I wish the mids were a bit clearer, but generally these do sound good. Noise cancelling could be a bit more prevalent here compared to the other pairs of headphones. These do a decent job, but not really as strong compared to some of the other options I mentioned here today. One of the negatives though is that battery life is only 16 hours without noise cancelling on and 8 hours with noise cancelling on, it's not the absolute best battery life either. These are also the most expensive out of all the headphones I showed you here today at $100 US compared to both $60 or $50 US at the other options. And you're mostly paying for the build quality and design of these headphones, which is definitely stellar, but the rest of these headphones leave a little bit to be desired in terms of sound quality and the noise cancelling level. Okay, so let's be completely real here. There's really no perfect pair of budget active noise cancelling headphones, especially compared to a more higher end pair of Sony, Sennheiser or Bose noise cancelling headphones. These all make some sort of noticeable trade off for the price. So out of all of these, my first place winner is the Tautronics BH22 headphones. A good combination of great sound quality, noise isolation, design, portability, the comfort could be a bit better, but overall, this is kind of the best pair I've tested out of all of these budget options. The links to purchase all of these headphones are in the video description down below, as well as a link to Unbox TV, who is today's awesome sponsor. Unboxed highlights the most popular tech products and excellent tech YouTubers that people actually care about decided by basically you. Their product descriptions, explanations, video reviews, everything, also the ability to purchase any of these products that we show from legit stores like Amazon, Best Buy, B&H, and more just by clicking the links. And by buying from these links, you're actually supporting creators 100%. Unbox does not take a single share of any affiliate revenue from these links, and that's pretty awesome, unlike other websites. Every time a new video is posted on my channel or other tech channels and for all past videos, products and videos are automatically shared to our profiles so it's all in one convenient place and it's pretty cool. Check out my profile link in the video description and thanks to Unbox TV for supporting my channel. And that's pretty much it for this video. Out of all of these headphones, which is your personal favorite? Do you own any of these? Is there a pair I should check out? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you for watching.